only God will do in your life. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit because I'm playing a little part in this scenario going on in the country. Obviously, I've made a few people mad. I'm the only one that can unite Democrats and Republicans. Because I seem to be opposed by both. They spent over $30 million trying to take me out. They've done everything they could, and now they're together to try to keep me from going to Washington, and why? And now I'm running for Supreme uh, Senate of the United States. What do you think I'm going to do? Why do you think they're giving me this trouble? Why do you think I'm being harassed by media and by people pushing for allegations in the last 28 days of this election, last 30 days it began. After 40 something years of fighting this battle, I'm now facing allegations. And that's all the press want to talk about. But I want to talk about the issues. I want to talk about where this country's going. And if we don't come back to God, we're not going anywhere. And don't think, don't think when you get and stand for the truth, when you stand for the recognition of God, that you're not going to be attacked. And that you're not going to be attacked in ways that you may think very strange. The press has such a political bias to everything, it's hard to have confidence in what they're bringing out to you. They, they might say that uh, there's some truth to it, but, but I don't have confidence in what they say. I have more, I mean, I'm looking at a guy who's dedicated his life to it. He comes up here to the church and he's uh, quoting scripture, he relates to us. I have much more confidence in him and what he's saying to us than I have confidence in what the media is bringing to us.